always said I was born on the wild side One foot in the flames and the other trying to walk the line Can't say I never saw it coming, I can see the warning signs My mom always said I was born on the wild side What's up, everybody? So that picture you just saw me freehand on the Rhino Viper, I do not post those pictures or videos a whole lot, mostly because everybody gets their panties in a bunch nowadays, and hell, some Facebook groups, it's even banned. So, the main reason this video is Chandler's Wildlife. He posted a video today, shared it with the world, of his screw-up. And that's what it was, a screw-up, and he 100% admits it. But yet, there's so many people out there talking so much shit. Yes, he showed a screw up in that video, but he also showed knowing what to do will save your life, even when you screw up sometimes. So, all these people talk at Chandler Chandler saying he doesn't know what he's doing and saying that he's lucky. Let's start with he doesn't know what he's doing. He goes out there in the wild over there, never, a snake he's never worked with. He's pumped to see it in the wild. He runs up on it. He's caught up in the moment. Yes, he's not paying attention like he should. He's not focused like he should. He's not sensing the animal. None of this. He's paying attention to the camera. He gets tagged. Bam, he realizes he screwed up. He's like, okay, I got to get my game face on. It's is a nausea, nausea, a spectacle cobra, an Indian cobra. What do I need to do? And he does it. He remained 100% calm and took every single precautionary step that he needed to do to stay alive. And at the end of the day, that's what saved his life because he knew what he was doing, even though he screwed up. But because he truly knew what he was doing, he saved his life. Now, everybody wants to say that he gets, he's just lucky. Chandler's just lucky. His whole life, he's just lucky. Let me tell you something. You're talking about a man. You're telling me a man who has dealt with these snakes for over a decade, years upon years upon years, dealing with the most dangerous venomous snakes in the world every single day, day in and day out, free handling. He has never, ever been bit until now by a venomous snake. Let that sink into your fucking skull real quick. And before you start keyboard worrying on me, typing on the, well, actually, I'm talking about truly venomous. I'm not talking about rear fang venomous snakes. I'm not talking about any of that bullshit. I'm talking about true venomous snakes. You try to prove me wrong, I'll be right here. Drop it below if you can truly prove me wrong. Because I know you can't. Now, let me, let me let you in on a little secret. Most of you pointing your fingers, talking all this mad shit like you always do. Wake up. You're the fucking problem. Not him. Not me. You. You guys that are talking all this mad shit are the fucking problem. You're the cancer in our community that's just fucking tearing us apart. And it infuriates me because this is our lives you're fucking with. So if you're not fully committed to, to standing together as a united front in the reptile community, get the fuck out. Because you're doing way more harm than good. Or step back, evaluate yourself, make sure you're taking care of your animals 100%, and get in the game 100% correctly like you should. Because you're literally playing with people's lives. You're playing with fire. And to point, everybody wants to, it's, it's so easy to point fingers at somebody else and saying where they fucked up. And not saying all the good shit that they've done. Do I think Chandler is 100% perfect? No, I don't. Do I think he's horrible for the hobby? No, I don't. I think he's good for the hobby. I know a lot of people that got started with reptiles the right way because of Chandler. Yes, he free handles. But he clearly states multiple times in each video that most people in the world should not free handle. Hell, nobody should probably free handle. But if you're truly passionate about something and you dedicated your life to it, and that's truly what makes you happy... Learn the right way. Learn how to, you know, he, we, he, he learned how to read the body language of each individual species. He senses the animal. That's a big thing, remaining calm. Now, there are some honorary snakes that you're never going to get tamed down. I don't use the word tamed at all. You, it's just senses. But I have a forest cobra and a black mamba and a couple other. They're never, you're never going to be able to comfortably free handle them, ever. But most snakes, if you remain calm, and relax, respect them, respect the hell out of them, but don't fear them. They will remain calm as well. And I have a albino monocled cobra that's actually out and about that I'm going to demonstrate this with real quick. So I'm going to remain calm 
And, and I've seen Chandler do this too. If he is in a foul mood for some reason and he's not on, and he's not on his game, I'm going to leave him the hell alone. So, let's get to it. Let's go see what kind of mood he's in. So I'm going to find out where he is, where his head is. And I'm going to carefully take this off, using it as a shield. And he's already coming up out. And he is in explore mode. So I'm going to mess with him real quick with the hook. And I can sense that he is in a good mood. So this here is a monocled cobra. His name is Bundy. And he is just in explore mode right now. And I can just kind of sense what kind of mood he's in. Now, if he was giving off vibes of him being mad, or anything like that, I would have just left him alone. Alright, so like I said, if he would have been in a foul mood, I would have just left him the hell alone, and I've seen Chandler do that too. Goes to get a snake out to soak it, to mess with it for video, whatever, and it's not in the right kind of mood, so he just says, okay, I'm done, and puts it away. That's the way you need to be. Now, as far as sharing your free handling, if that's what makes you happy in life, go ahead and share it. As long as you're doing everything the right way and your animals are being taken care of, that's the big thing. Standing together, no matter what your beliefs are, if you, dis if you guys have a disagreement in one or two little areas, who cares? Quit making big deals out of shit like a little bitch. Like, seriously. There's so much bigger stuff here. The main things are the animals, are, is your temperature, your humidity, your temperature radiant, your enclosure size, your enclosure type. It's all of this perfect for the fucking animal you're keeping. Not The whole point of this community isn't to go talk shit on everybody else. And when somebody has a question in these groups, it just gets my blood boiling to see all these idiots that don't know shit running their mouth like, oh yeah, you don't know this, blah. You ever hear the one about the stupid little prick named Rick who thought he knew shit but didn't know shit? That infuriates the hell out of me. If you're cancerous, get the fuck out. I will say that a million times. And like I said earlier, if you have to ask yourself if you're cancerous, you are. But step back, look at your animals. Are all your animals being taken care of 110%? And think before you comment. Because... All the ones talking the mad shit, you're the ones, you're the reason that our community is so fucked up at the end of the day. I lost a dear friend a few months back in this hobby. And all of the mad shit that was going around fucking infuriated me. It was disgusting. Because people care more about their fucking egos and wanting to manipulate everybody and else into thinking that you know more when you really don't. Like you ever hear the one about the stupid little prick named Rick who thought he knew shit but didn't know shit? Like I said, all the people that are talking all this shit are the ones that don't know shit. That's just facts. 100% facts. If you don't know something, ask somebody who you think does. When somebody in a Facebook group Ask the question. Genuinely and sincerely answer it because that's a part of what's wrong too. These people reach out for guidance or help. Maybe they got in over their head. Maybe they just don't know something. And people are fucking ignorant to them. Do you think that these people are going to want to come back onto these groups and ask more questions? Hell no. Why would they? They shouldn't. That's not how we should be. We need to stand together now more than ever. And everybody's saying that a free handler getting bit is bad for our hobby. Listen, you stupid ass. Anybody getting bit is bad for the hobby. I get that. The dweeb down the road with the Venom Life 
gloves on and the snake hooks and the tongs that gets bit is no worse than me getting bit because the people that really want to drive a wedge in between us don't give a shit. A hot bite is a hot bite. I'll say that a million times too because it just seems to not sink into people's fucking heads. So, if you're cancerous, please eject yourself from the hobby or change. As for all you other genuine, great, hardworking, amazing keepers, keep doing what you're doing. We are going to make a difference.